Now, if you have children, please, uh, if they go to school, they're all going to get told that the solar system looks something like this. Let, let me try to erase this. Okay, that the solar system looks something like this. Uh, that, that, that the sun is in the middle and the solar system, and, and in my school, we even, in a, even had a little machine with a little thing, a little crank you spun, and the earth uh, went around the sun with the moon and everything. And uh, so they tell you, oh yeah, that's the sun, and then the, the planets go around like this in an elliptical course, and depending on uh, the interaction of all the planets, it's either elongated or more round, or you got all the planets like this in the solar system. Well, actually, that is absolutely incorrect. Okay, uh, the thinking of the solar system in this matter is equivalent to thinking that the Earth is flat. Um, the solar system does not behave that way at all. In fact, the solar system uh, uh, it behaves in a completely different way since the sun is moving through space and the planets are flying around the sun generating this huge vortices as it follows the equator of the sun. It, that is a completely different picture. All right? It goes from flat to spacious, to movement through space. And that makes a big difference. All of a sudden, you start to see that even planetary motions, solar motions around the galaxy, galactic motion, supercluster motion, and so on, all have this elliptical, vortecular dynamics of space. They all have this torque dynamic through space. And, uh, and if you look at the Earth on this vortex, you could say that this is 2000, you know, 2000, for instance, and this would be then uh, 2000, 2001, and then this would be 2002, and this would be, uh, this is extremely long distance apart, millions and millions and millions and millions of miles apart. There's nothing in there, the, the, you know, the planets do not come back onto their path. They don't. If they did, we most likely would have the same set of information over and over and over, like a broken record. Okay? And, uh, and we, we'd probably get real bored. Uh, uh, it would be like Groundhog Year, you know? <laughs> and so, um, it, what makes, and it, so it hit me in my head, oh my God, oh, what makes, what makes, Every second, every billionth of a second, different from the other, every part of the division of space-time different from the other. And why is information changing? Is because we are never moving back onto the same coordinates of space-time. We're moving through space-time, gathering information through the system and feeding it back and, uh, and modifying the structure of space as we move through it. So it was really an important realization. It, it had implication in the physics I was writing, but as well it had implications in, in, in uh, psychology theories and stuff that you know, I was interested in because, because you could, I, and I've experienced and experimented on this since then, where, where I, if I give this visualization at, to somebody, and I ask them in their mind's eye to move the earth back along that vortex to an instance, to something that happened in their life that was traumatic. I'm able to get these people to go back to that moment in much more vivid and much more powerful way. And then what I ask them to do is to change their visualization of that experience from their perspective to what to the 180 degree perspective, like to the perspective of the person that assaulted them or whatever, and then they get a new set of information. And what I believe happens is that new set of information is encoded in that place in space time, and so all of the rest of the information is changed. 
from there on. And, and that is actually the, the, the effect of psychology asking you to go back to an instance. But if you don't know, and, and I think that's where psychology could get some help from this theory, is that if you don't know the true dynamics, the fundamental mechanics of that motion through space, you're going to try to visualize it in something that's going back in time on the same record, broken record, so you can't get there, right? Uh, and, but here, I've had instances where people were able to do that and solve some very, very important issues immediately. And what happens is that if they're there in present time, then all their forward, all the geometry that, that catch up with them now opens a whole new sets of geometry for them in the future.